Why is recorded in front of a live studio audience. But I wanted all the music to have that kind of... The, the music that they put on in movies when they go to a party at someone's Correct. house or... I always love, and no one, they don't have them anymore, or if they ever had them. The clubs that people go to in movies, where it's like there's a stage show, yes. it's just a bunch of women dancing, yes. singing some stupid song. Correct. And everyone's just sitting at very small tables with little lights, and smoking. And glasses. And, yep, and drinking fancy cocktails. I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to go to that world. That's the world I want to go to. That's why I just ordered the coupe glasses. Uh, what was it? La Samurai? The um, yes. it was um, Melville. Yeah, there's like a whole. Is he's dating the girl or the coat check girl at that club, and you see it like in the daytime, and they're rehearsing and like yes. cabaret. I want to live exactly. in that. Exactly, that's where I want to live. And people put on records, and it's just an inter instrumental. Ooh, wah, ee, ooh, like that kind that's of thing. That's it. Yes. How hard exactly is that? right. We want. We basically want to be Austin Powers, but that's okay okay but yeah, without right. but without the right right with better uh, teeth and right less problem yeah. sexual and less, in it, exactly but with same the amount same, of it but just right not less problematic less problematic yeah same soundtrack basically is what we want yeah and exactly. cocktails mm -hmm. and fashion this is why with your hosts Heidi Hedquist and Luke Poling. I would love to do one of those of just like 1950s Doris Day Rock Hudson movies. Oh, please. I've been in every dinner theater version of every one of them. Oh and God. I've always been Doris Day. Right. Was it Pillow Talk? I've been in Pillow Talk. Is that the one where she's like on vacation with him and is so afraid people are going to, they have to share a, uh, hotel room and she's so afraid that no, people are going to think they're sleeping together or is that um mm -mm. that touch of mink or something i think that's that touch of mink that pillow her talk like, is um her like dream sequence she's in like a four poster bed being carried through the lobby of the hotel and everyone's pointing no i waving. wish i was in that one i wasn't yeah. in that one that wasn't pillow again. talk again i just i know i was in send me no flowers and pillow talk Pillow Talk is where they have the party line, I think. Mm, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And based on anything with Thelma Ritter. Yes, Rachel, uh, German Rachel was always Thelma Ritter. I haven't even met her, and it feels like that tracks. I know. I guess we should start with Dr. Sims, since this... This Museum of the American House Cat is started as your personal collection of cat memorabilia and items. Is that correct? More or less, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I planned to have a museum go way, way, way back when I didn't, you know, really think about it, ever having one, but I thought I'd have one maybe many, many years ago. We needed one in this country. So we're so collecting this. Place. So were you collecting this with the eye towards a someday I'm going to display all of this? Yes, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. What is it about the house cat? They're yeah, a very popular animal. People love cats. I mean, lots of them all have homes and people homes, you know, and they just one of the favorite pets in the world, I think, right now. Everybody loves cats. They want to see cats. So there might be things about cats. They've come you know, out of the woodwork to find you. So let's... Uh, uh, rain and day. Yeah, let's try to, um, let's sell this thing. What do you guys have uh, on display? I know there's a mummified cat, which is a whole nother conversation in and of itself. Uh, but what are some anything of the items? Anything with cat on it. Or... I'm sorry, what was his name? Anything with a cat can be, can be here. Mm -hmm. So We have art of all kinds. We have the pottery, you can name it, it's going to be here. Uh, it Figurines? Oh, it's um. We have some figurines, yeah, um, yeah of the like the mummified cats. Like you said, it's another conversation. We we actually have four. We have the one from Egypt, and then we have a medieval um, petrified cat and two other petrified cats um, that were donated to us. So that we wasn't have, like a yard um, sale find. 
<laughs> no, we know that. Those were not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so how did how um, did fact, one the, uh, how did you come ahead. about the donated mummified cats? Like, were they just sent to you one day? Did you seek them out? No, I found this on eBay. Uh, yeah, the one. Um, Metal cat. Yeah. He, yeah, the one. The um, the first petrified cat from the medieval period. He found that was eBay, that, that was eBay. eBay. Oh yeah, eBay. And the most friend came for me. eBay. Yeah. Except for well, the second one. Um, we have a kitten in a box that um, came from the basement of a Saudi palace, and the architect yeah, who Arabian. worked on it. Um, brought that to us he had found it while working there and uh so he brought that kitten in and um we, you know that the date on it is unverified we don't know how long it was in there mm -hmm. the yep. um and the second cat or, or third petrified cat actually is very new um it belonged to a family it had been a barn cat and um they knew she was an old cat and she eventually just disappeared and they figured she'd gone off to die and sometime do you later, remember how they found the was it body years later years later or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah like they, they found the body and um you know was there a note or climate, just the body just the body uh, just the body <laughs> no, okay. she had just died and naturally petrified which in this region is amazing because we're so humid right, yeah, right. so um it was <laughs> those are our little sort of more morbid curiosities that people the, love them <laughs> oh yeah yeah six thousand dollar can and yes now you buy them for nothing you know they're yeah that's the fine one that took available in some some museum somewhere the medieval one no the, the um, original mummy oh, the mummy one like, yeah like, the mummy yeah. yeah came from a man who owned it in Brooklyn, new york and that one's like two that's ptolemaic period yeah, yeah, it, it's an actual years. egyptian mummy but like it, 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 it a Ptolemaic cat Nowhere is no joke. Like, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a really big deal <laughs> on many levels. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's really kind of like a funny honor to have that here because it is it's very hard, very hard to come by. Hard to find. In museum. Most yeah. of them are in museums someplace else. They don't give them away because they want to keep their own museum. Mm -hmm. uh, having the, the, and Harold did have it x-rayed. Have and... it x-rayed. There's some bulges out of it, but uh, what they are, we're not too sure about it. But it's mummified. It was made in Egypt. Yeah, about that. but it's very, the bones are very sort of, you know, crunched yeah. up because of the way they bound them so tightly. Yeah. It's hard to make out. Yeah. <laughs> and now, you know, I, I'm if, sure. I <laughs> if I recall correctly from, from school, when someone in Egypt who was uh, some had some level of affluence, when they died, they would mummify their animals as well. So this was somebody's pet, you think, most likely? No, no, no. They also had cats. They also raised cats in churches. They gave them uh, to people to give to the church for a reward to the gods. To the gods, they actually had a prison going on, getting raising cats, having them mummified. People bought them. Gave it to the gods for honor or some kind of uh, the pride mm -hmm. they wanted to put from the gods. Because then oh. the cats were found and they put in the hole someplace with kept that all they're all gone now. Because, yeah, that's why there were so many mummified cats. It wasn't just for royalty, no. but because people were it was it was like the poor man's way of making an offering to the gods. The gods, right? Yeah, it was a gift to the gods that you paid for them and put the priests in the church and then you got the, the um, gifts. I guess that you wanted to you had to better so um, got that. No, like most no prayers. evil spirits or anything has shown up. Everything's cool with that cat. <laughs> no, 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 nothing at all. No, no, no. Not okay. yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay, good. Out, but, uh, she's the one. And now uh, it, the photos, the museum looks like it is just stuffed to the gills with cat paraphernalia. It's very Victorian. It's very Victorian. Uh, I it love the. There's no wall space. You can't see a cat. Yeah. <laughs> There's. Hmm. Uh, it, it, as far as artwork goes, there's a, I don't know what you call it, a sketch, a drawing, a likeness of a cat made out of pasta? No, no, no pasta, no. Oh, not pasta. <laughs> not, not, not yet, anyway. That's um, something new. If I try that one day, but that's not right now. <laughs> okay. Hey, um, just throwing uh, it to the wall, seeing what sticks. Yeah. Oil on canvas, you know, oil on 
board, so oil on board, or we've got oil on cardboard. Some, we do have some little uh, figurines of spaghetti glass cats, and that's spaghetti was, glass yeah, is the Italian. Glass. That's Capitan an Italian method of. Yeah, Capitan glass. Also, called, you know, yeah. pottery. Yeah. yeah. Ceramic. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Clay. And then <laughs> it's just to look at the photos. It is there's so much stuff um, because I currently have two cats of my own. How do you position these things to display them on shelves? You can't put them right near the edge, right? Because someone will knock them off. No, they're high in, high, they were high in the wall. They were not, not up there, high in the wall. Well, not so, up, up, um, up the wall. So cats can't Some jump off to them. So, but mostly, well, in cases, yeah, mostly so they're in cases. So cases. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I glass Are cats welcome to wander around the museum? Right. Or do you have museum cats? They we have a museum cat. <laughs> yeah, we do. He's pretty new to it, so. Wait, is yeah, that King six months old, and her name's Mimi? Oh. Mimi's a perfect museum and cat. And I had, she is a great museum cat. She okay. even has an Instagram that, that people are following. She has over 100 followers now. And um, actually, she's sleeping on our checkout counter right now. How do we not follow <laughs> Mimi yet? We have to follow Mimi. Yes, I, I'm looking that up right now. Um, <sighs> it's Mimi, the official museum. Excuse me, it's Mimi's Museum Cat Life. <laughs> oh, 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 there she is. On... <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, she's the cutest thing ever. I saw her picture. I didn't realize that was her. Oh, <gasps> I love her. How do people not try to steal her? <laughs> Well, probably because the <laughs> petrified, very I just answered my own question, uh, because the petrified Egyptian cat would somehow come back to life and haunt them. Well, no doubt. They'd oh, like, yeah. We would, we would go yeah. after them. Completely. <laughs> Completely. That is exactly what would happen. Do you find that uh, the cat grows into the name or the cat somehow tells you what the name should be? Like very rarely do you see a calf and think that cat should be named Susan, but then you meet a cat named Susan and you're like, of course, that's Susan. Yeah, how do you name your kitties? Well, most of the cats come in with the name we make up for them at the time. You know, they look some funny little hell, you know, something like that. So we say, this is me, this is Joe Below, whatever it could be. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's just a matter that sometimes they'll change the name later on. Right. Yeah, I guess yeah. like at the shelter, you need a name yeah. for the file. We have a cat shelter too. I mean, and they have people um, change. Cats, they want to get a new cat for their home, you know, they don't want to ever. Yeah, and um, their own name. Mimi was, um, my mother and I acquired her and her brother, and we had already decided we wanted to have a museum cat at some point. Mm -hmm. And um, my, I took my mom to, you know, get a new kitten after her cat passed, and um, she, the lady had these, there were like two left. They're part Himalayan and we assume part Tabby. Yeah, Tomcat. Yeah. Uh, Tabby Tomcat. Yeah. And um, <laughs> mom got her kitty and his name is Percy or Sir Percival. And um, yeah. we got me, and I just saw Mimi and I had, I wasn't really planning. I wasn't sure I wanted a cat, but I had to have her. Yeah. So yeah. I brought them in. They were so tiny. They stayed at the museum during the day i'd bring them to work and let them play and uh we have a basically a little cat kitten aquarium that they played in and uh, people loved seeing them play and as they got older percy was a little more reserved and he now stays at home with his mom and mimi kept coming to work with me during the day and then she goes home and plays with her brother all night and they're very well bonded and you know it, i'm glad we got them both because they're they, they keep each other quite occupied. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the greatest life I could think of. Right. You spend a day hanging out in a museum. <laughs> and then go home and play. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah. That's good food, you know. Oh, she, uh. and she gets a ton of attention and she keeps stealing. Uh, we, in our gift shop, we have a we have cat toys and we've got a toy box. Um, and, you know, those little crinkly mylar balls. Sure do. She yep. keeps stealing those. It's amazing. <laughs> in fact, we got one kitty. right here on the day. Yeah. Well, but then you know they're sort of... She just helps herself. Yeah, they're kind of Mimi approved. So you know, right. if you're picking up one, yeah. this yeah. has been trusted. It yeah, works I great. It Thank you for asking. Them. So wait, yeah. so she's a museum cat slash 
cat burglar who robs the, her own mm. museum. Yes. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> this is amazing. Burglar. I want to write like a whole book mm -hmm. about Mimi <laughs> and like her <laughs> madcap <laughs> capers within the museum. It, it's good. You could, yeah. <laughs> you totally could. Yeah, Mr. Cat's a good um, So I, we uh, have. A oh, sorry, sorry. So you oh, have. I she's just a little bit to come around. Yeah, I could imagine. <laughs> um, the how many sort of uh, feathers or balls on string do you have on display at the museum? <laughs> do you have any? Uh, oh, so They're all over the place. All the floor laying here. Laying yeah, we got. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it's more of those are being currently being used. They're not yes. part of the archive. Yeah, they come. Yeah, they, she uh, likes the fishing toys. But she awesome. especially loves mylar toys. Yeah, um, it's the crinkling sound, you know, that that's just yeah, they just like to knock it around with their paws, you know, like it's yeah. a real mouse yeah. like that. <laughs> Here's a freebie, a freebie for at some point in the future, you could make kind of an interactive exhibit and have a giant mylar ball to scale hanging down from the ceiling so your guests could try batting at it and to see what it feels cool. like for yeah. change. Human that. size. Just take that and, oh, and yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's been the most surprisingly <laughs> popular thing at the museum? Like, what's the thing that you never would have thought guests would be so drawn to that they come and get you so... Know, I've got a cat collar. We have a cat collar came in from the uh, Virgin time and King George's Talk in England, it's 1800 tons sometime. It's a very rare uh, brass collar with a name on it, which matches the people who lived at the time in in, 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 in England. But really, to have a very rare, rare uh, brass um, mm -hmm. cat collar is quite hard to come by. <clears throat> Does it have the name yeah, of the cat, you the, said, or like is it the I family said, name? No, there's no name. It's, it's people's address. It has the address oh, that the cat the cat address. belong to. Yeah. Because back then, I mean, cats were mostly indoor, outdoor, especially yeah, outdoor. Bed, yeah. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it shows that whoever had it was, it. Yeah. yeah, they were concerned about the cat enough to want it returned. And so you, you know, don't know um, the cat's name. Did they name cats back then? No, 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 not the name. We know the owner's name, but not the cat's name. Okay. Always have their own coat of arms, so it was a genuine thing. I mean, they had the coat of arms in England, so it was a cool. genuine guy yeah. to that was lucky to get on these days. Mm -hmm. well, are I you go to their house? Oh my god, that'd be amazing! Are you constantly <sighs> on the lookout for new or kind of new things every to day, add to the every museum? Every day, I'm on, every day, I'm on the computer every day and every night. I find some really weird, weird things sometimes, and I bang on them. You know. He's not yeah. kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I'm, <laughs> So how many times does a box line. arrive at the museum and you open it up and go, oh, God, were you online last well, night? My house, my home, <laughs> my home down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they go to his house and yeah, he'll bring them down. Full and... of boxes, house full of empty boxes, paper, junk all over, over the house. You know, it's a mess. <laughs> it's, it's a disaster to blame, but I'm, I'm alone now, but uh, still, it's a mess. <laughs> a lot of stuff coming in, a lot of rare stuff coming in, yeah. Well, and so yeah, you we're, might... and with all that, mm -hmm. um, go ahead. No, no please go ahead. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, with all the stuff that comes in, we're we're hoping for an expansion in the coming months because we need it. <laughs> yeah, we need more room. We need lots more room. That's amazing. This may become the American Museum of the Cat if I don't have my what you can do. Like the American yeah, Museum the, of the Cat. Yeah, yeah, you know, that, italicized the yeah, Museum, Museum of the, of the Cat. cat. That would be American. so cool. <laughs> and that would yeah, I think of the right like the event that could happen. And like the the, mm -hmm. the kitty cat soiree that could go along with it. I mean, that'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. It would yeah. be amazing. Is there something that you're mm -hmm. on the quest really? for that you haven't found yet? Really, no. I don't know what it could, what it could be, but I'll find one on eBay one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll we'll know where you find it. And I'll it's... find it one day somewhere. I don't want to uh, see now, but it'll, it'll pop up one day. Uh, he has um, the collection now is. I mean, it, it is amazing, not just for the mummies, like he's got the carousel cats that yeah. mm -hmm. um, have become part of our logo. Yeah. Um, some antique carousel cats that are just really nice and um, they're just magical, you know, yeah. they're carousel pieces. So it's like you he's just, oh, wow, you too. know, there's, there's something special and nostalgic about carousels. So they mm -hmm. attract a lot of attention too. Is is the museum are 
it's I guess we've kind of discussed some of the items that that you have on display. Is it primarily artwork and other kind of graphic depictions and celebration of the cat, yeah, or is yeah. it more functional things, or you know, like the the collar or the the mummified cats, things of interest, things that perhaps we might not associate with cats now? No, or... we have... no, we have everything you think of about cats. We've got cats from Germany, size cats. We've got a, a case on Halloween cats. We've got a case on. Folk art cats, we've got a case on the um, automaton cats. Uh, you know, we've got a case on different artists who were famous today, like Louis Wayne. We got a lot of Louis Wayne stuff in one one cabinet. It's okay. a real collection of really oddball things that are hard to find in the not come mm -hmm. every day out of the woodwork. I think it kind of teaches people, people who come in who maybe don't think about cats as much, but they're curious, so they come in and yeah. they realize, oh, wow, cats are, are really this popular. Yeah. You know, as if they don't already dominate the internet. Yeah. But right. um, you know, and aside from the collectibles that are are just fun, he has uh some things like you know the functional stuff like uh litter. Um, yes, like uh, ads for litter, you know, ads for cat food, history of the cat food, history of the animals, this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You can learn a lot coming here about the cat. You and, know about when it came. Those are all modern amenities when you think about it because they haven't been a you no, know, no. cat food wasn't and hard food anyway, and litter didn't start coming around until yeah, the 40s, 40s and 50s. Yeah, yeah. Very rare at that time. So, huh. um, we take those things for granted anymore because <laughs> they're a household <laughs> a regular oh, thing. But, yeah, um, so do you have actual litter art on? Do you have actual no. litter on display, or is it just artwork? We well, have pictures of the litter boxes and litter, yeah. litter cat food cans that were made forty years ago. He's somehow gotten a hold of like tidy cat. Like you've got yes, some the tidy cat stuff. They they're vintage, the like vintage tidy cat um, bags that they weren't used. They were just printed for use, but never were used. Right. So they're still in like a pretty yeah, pristine. A lot of pristine shape. stuff there was found, you know, new old stuff they found. Anyway, that's a called uh, new old, you know, pictures found that are. New, but they've been there for a long time. I wonder where they were. Mm -hmm. We have a railroad cat also, and then Tessie, the railroad cat's on there, and big case case on my Tessie's, Tessie's stuff. So we got all kinds of things mm -hmm. that are about yeah, cats today, and, and you know, just to name it, it's going to be on there. I guess the cigar boxes are going real high right now to find one. They mm -hmm. made the 1890s and so on. There are cat names like Mr. Tom Cat and, and uh, 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 the other cat uh, cigar boxes, Pussy Cat Cigars. This sort of thing. Want to have it back in 1989? I mean, 1999. But there, and there is in the case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cat's drugstore mm -hmm. also was a popular drugstore years ago all over the whole country. Now it's called CVS. They go back you know, from the, the old time to now. Wait a second. CVS used to be called Cat's Drugstore? Yeah. K A T Z. K A T Z. Cat's mm -hmm. Drugstore. They were all over the country. Oh, New Orleans. Oh, of Minneapolis. Wow. They and they had a cat logo. Yeah. 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 Black cat logo. I love it. Cats drugstore is sold. Everything but nuts and bolts. Oh, yes. Coca Cola. There. You can get the milkshakes. You can get the the clothes. You can you know, everything you wanted to buy it was, it was found at Cats drugstore years ago. Huh. It began during World War World War Two. They opened up a store of everything you could buy in one one big drugstore. Mm -hmm. You can buy everything you wanted from dust to soup in the same drugstore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were a big thing at, at the time, but they're all oh. torn down now. Yeah, I was surprised to hear you mention that you have a gift shop because you have a shelter attached to the museum, which seems like the perfect gift yeah, shop. Right, yeah. It is it's the perfect the road, gift yeah. shop. Yeah. Well, yeah. the the shelter's in a different location. Oh, it is. We okay. We're kind of in a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, a, you know. No kill, no cages, a real modern type oh shelter. I would that's right, I that's, big open rooms. I will Nobody go home with all of them. Yeah, let's talk about this a little bit. Really <laughs> unique shelter. Yeah, so it, there's no cages. The cats just roam free and hang out. Oh. Well, we have four or five big rooms mm -hmm. with an outdoor porch on it. It's all fenced in. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't cool all year long. And they can play around with yeah. the other cats. You know? The only cages are like for um, new, intake, like, yeah, new cats for the intake well, that have to be quarantined stuff, yeah. for a little mm -hmm. while. I, are there troublemaker cats? they're clear, they get to run around. Are there troublemaker mm -hmm. cats? Are there cats yeah, kind of, of them, yeah? Them, it's them, like named Terrence or something, and it just yeah. <laughs> so let's go home with me. Oh, sure. Yeah, 
-hmm. so how many cats do we you have? have? Yeah, they couldn't make it outside, living outside with the mice and things. Mm. His name is uh, Sambo. Been living here for years now, twenty years. I think he's been here twelve years he's now. A, yeah, he's a big Siamese cat. He, that... he hunts the whole property. He you know, goes around and every day looks for the mice to eat. You know, there's no more squirrels left, no more chipmunks left, <laughs> nothing left. But him, <laughs> he's like, what a big enough to eat the Yeah, right. Oh. He's a character. He's a possum. He is a character. Because if you come to the shelter, you will be greeted by Sambo, but just yeah, do not yeah. try to pet him. No. He'll yeah. take, yeah. take you out. He's a he's a trap. Yeah, he's a walking trap. <laughs> so how, how many cats do you have yeah, at the shelter? Usually about 35, 40 at a time. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe more. Depends on the season. Right. If there's a season that comes in, usually every now and then they get more coming in and you got a capacity for yeah. like 80. Yeah, I think 80, 80, 80 at the most. Oh. But it's just one guy who works there by himself, so it can't be too big. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah, we just have oh. a whole staff, you know, and a big building to work in. Yeah, he had some volunteers, but. A few, few um, volunteers, one one paid, one paid employee. How and, often you know, do you go by day, the, you know, Yeah, how often do you go by the shelter and find that full-time employee just lying in the middle with cats running all over him, just being oh, like, this is so the best happy. job ever? Uh, it's not uncommon. <laughs> Not, yeah, <laughs> that sounds so great. Right. They're all to have those people with like four or five cats. Yeah, yeah and, and oh. the nice thing about the shelter is it's near Western Carolina University. So, like during um, finals, like Caleb, the 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 manager there that he's talking about, he's a yeah. vet tech. He'll mm -hmm. put out the word, and they'll have like um, you know a chill out day where students can disengage from their finals and come up to the shelter and pet cats yeah. and awesome. just have some <laughs> that sort of thing yeah yeah get your cat fixed that way oh. that is amazing <laughs> that is amazing uh, that I a would very unique thing absolutely one of a kind very unique thing that uh, you ought to be everywhere but there's only one right now that I know of which is good as mine <laughs> yeah, I'm a, it's, I'm, I love it. it is. There, there can be only one. <laughs> only one. I it's mean, the original name of the cat. Oh, it's, it's we amazing. need to have one, but they still only want to on more income, and we can make it make it go big. It could be a gold mine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a gold I mean, mine right now. It, it really is. It really That's is. Ten thousand guests in nine months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Ten thousand so, guests and, in nine months. And you just yeah, recently we opened, opened in this right? location. Yeah, yeah. April, April the 1st. We opened year. April 1st in this location, and in nine months, yeah. Um, Almost 10,000 people. Yeah. yeah. 10,000 people get through the museum. And, 100 at a time one day. And during, uh, when we opened back up after Christmas and New Year's break, we had th this past couple weekends ago, it was yeah. it was insane. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so insane. The only people in the building, it's only that, not that big, you know. Mm -hmm. This is a mob scene at work Sundays in the afternoon. Oh. It's amazing. Yeah, and Mimi really got, re Mimi she really got had her death, work death, you know. cut out for her. Yeah. She was, yeah. <laughs> she must have been exhausted when she got home. Oh. Turned to the other cat and be like, dude, they just pet me all the time. Right. Like, you got to play by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. But she loves it. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. That's yeah. amazing. And one of the things I love about with with her here is that there, when it's when you have just the right number of people in here, she'll get up and go greet them, and it's just so cute how she walks toward them with purpose, like yep. you know, hey, how, how you are doing? You? Yeah. <laughs> Does she have a name tag? <laughs> Does no. she have a name Not tag yet. at all? To, I'll okay. get her one of. Not yet. We've been telling her. I actually have a, a sign on the door warning people to look out for her yeah. because um, she started getting more curious about her foyer. Um, and I, like I was that. like, yeah, we don't want her getting out of here <laughs> because of the road. And um, so there's a little warning. So now people come in and they'll see her and say, oh, is that Mimi? You know, yeah. I'm like, well, at least they read the sign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> she's she's going to expect a coat of arms on her collar. Oh, very, very soon. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. For more information about the American Museum of the House Cat, check out their website, wnccatmuseum.org. You can also find them on Facebook and Instagram, where they are at WNC Cat Museum. 
And if you want to follow Mimi, the official Real Museum cat, you can find her on Instagram where she is at Mimi Museum Cat Life. Why the Podcast is produced by the professional production company. Please be sure to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts because we're shallow and need constant validation. For more information, you can check out our website, whythepodcast.com. And like everyone else, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Today's show was recorded and produced by Heidi Hedquist and myself from our world headquarters, located on the second floor of the professional office building, centrally located downtown. Our reluctant executive producers are John Sauvé and Sandy Stone. Our willing producers are Rachel Allen and Randy Jeanette. Our intern is Zach Jackson. This one's for Philippe. Thanks for joining us. Flash, we're coming home. Nigel, is that you? Are you here? Nigel?